Can we just live here, please? You cannot go wrong with a Birek. They even have a submarine if you come at the right time. I am now the captain <laughs> of the boat. The this is incredible. We're like the only ones at the moment out on the lake. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Lake Orid in North Macedonia. We have a really exciting morning this morning. Um, the owner of Villa Varosh has actually given us special access to the penthouse apartment, which is on the very top, which means we can go and check out the views and we can check out the apartment. If this room is this good, I can't wait to see what that is gonna look like. You know this is going to be good when you're heading. <laughs> How many floors are we going up? You must be at the top. There's a suite. One. Oh, I think we've got another two to go. No way. <gasps> yeah. It's got its own staircase. What? Oh my god. Personal staircase. Yeah. Look. You could go up first. Look at that. Oh my god. Let me come here. It's got its own personal staircase. Have you got the code? Yeah. You have to put a code in. I'm out of breath, it's that many stairs. Are you ready? Do it, do it, do it. Are you ready? Whoa. Whoa. Let me put the lights on. Do, will our key work? Oh, oh, fantastic. Where are you going to start? Yeah. I don't even know where. This is huge. I'm in shock. Wow, okay. There's, Matt, there's two bedrooms. No way. Right, okay. Let's start with the... Uh, so this is the main bedroom. I love the fact it's got like an attic -y feel. It's more mm -hmm. like an attic here. Huge double bed, huge telly. That is massive, by That's the way. That's a massive TV. Second bedroom. Second bedroom. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh my God, this is so cute. Little single bed. Little single bed. Kids room. Yeah, it's like a, I suppose you could say it's like a family room. I'm wow. gonna take over, as I always do. Bathroom, a bit similar to ours. Toilet, shower, really modern, sink. Love it. Look at and this then space, you though. walk through, oh, my god dining table wow <laughs> i can't even speak this so is this huge. this is the kitchen oh my huge god huge i didn't think it'd have a kitchen so it's like an apartment yeah so it's the penthouse apartment is what it's actually called but normally you just think it's like a suite mm -hmm. this has got um the oven hob everything you need huge fridge we have table and chairs. The decor is so fancy. Isn't it nice? This is really, really nice. And then we've got a living room. Yeah, this is unreal, isn't it? Look at this. I'm you jealous. know what I love is how I'm going to have to mind my head because I'm very tall. Oh, I'm going to sit down on the sofa. How to hold airy on. the rooms are because they've got windows everywhere. And can you see your view? The views out of here are absolutely incredible. This sofa as well. You could definitely sleep someone on this sofa yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's definitely more than a two bedroom. I'm gonna swap camera now, I'm gonna take it. Oh, what you wanna do it? This is my favorite bit. I've seen the photos of this. And also you can see it when you go outside. No <gasps> way. So you've what? got all the furniture here. Wow. Huge umbrella. If it is, I mean, wow. These views. You can see Church of St. Sophia. Yeah, Church of St. Sophia. Right there. You've got Lake Ohrid. Need not the table over. You've got the castle behind me. This is huge. This is massive. And this, it's actually I love a really this. It's more like a, this is like your, a bar table. You could have your coffee here and then have your beers there later at night. This is unbelievable. Do you think we can ask him if we can stay? <laughs> can we just live here, please? I could have sat in that penthouse all day, but we need to get out and have some breakfast. It is another lovely day here in Lake Ohrid, North Macedonia. Um, we don't have too many plans during the day as such. We're gonna get some food, walk around the other side of the lake that we haven't seen. And then this evening, we are doing what, you come to Lake Ohrid, you can't miss, and that is go out on a boat for sunset. Thank you. The best 
barrette. So their barrettes are so different here. They're like really long um, and they're just really good. We tried them in the food video and we loved it. And they're only 45 dinar. If you are anywhere in the Balkans, you cannot go wrong with a birek for breakfast, lunch or dinner. And this is perfect. We can grab this, walk around the lake and take in the beautiful views of Orid. Mm. So good. Whew, that birek was so, so good. Seriously, they are the best thing in the Balkans for breakfast bar none. We've actually walked to the harbour side now which is basically like a pier, a promenade with all the boats here. Unfortunately, we've been trying to look for tours. They normally do um, day boat trips, group boat trips to places like St. Norm, the monastery, which we're gonna have to do, but another way now. Um, unfortunately, due to there being literally zero tourists at the moment, group tours are not running. So the only sort of boat trip you could do would be a private one, which would cost 200 euros which is way too much it's way out of our price range um, but what you can do for 10 euros is do a sunset cruise for 30 minutes around the old town so that'll be us tonight you can see there's huge boats here it's such a shame there's all the huge boats that go on the day trips all empty this covid it needs to end you can see here there is loads of these boats that go on the day trips but for the sunset you'll be looking at one of the smaller catamarans just look at that view this this walkway overlooks the old town it is beautiful they even have a submarine if you come at the right time that'd be so fun about to leave the harbour and walk off and we found this boat it's called armada it's moored up and it's more like a bar we're not sure if it's a restaurant it looks like it is downstairs. bar and restaurant i think I, when um, we were walking past i thought it was just one of the um just like one of the, on the boat trips yeah. that's obviously not open but it is so nice really modern got nice seating as well and oh. the view is insane. And we're drinking soft yeah. drinks. Oh, thank you so Look much. Look at all this cushion. We haven't even got a beer yet. That will come. <laughs> I am now the captain of the boat. The captain How do has I made look? you captain for the day. How do I but look? You look good, but <laughs> the, the captain has bought me a soft drink and not a beer. <laughs> recommend that armada for a drink or two a beer not a soft drink like us we did cheat um, but then we had a walk along further around the lake there wasn't actually that much going on a few nice restaurants but we've walked now back up the bazaar and we found this place over here that does a smoothie called fruit box and i need a smoothie i'm feeling so unhealthy after all these beers i'm in need of something healthy got everything here but i'm going for a protein one because the lack of gym this might actually help me what are you getting hello uh, i think i might get a snickers no protein. no protein? No, no Raspberry protein. protein, please. Can we have one raspberry vanilla and one Snickers milkshake, please? Thank you. Mmm. That. Oh, that's really good. See, that's making up for all the beers. With every sip, well, I get, I get a little bit healthier. <laughs> mm. Perfect little snack, gonna have this. Go back and get changed, because I think at around five o'clock, the sunset's really early here, we're gonna meet our boatman for the day and go on our sunset cruise around the old town of Lake Ochrid. Quick change and we are back out, ready to go on our sunset cruise. We're actually going with Azuro Catamaran, 
cruises in Ohrid. Just give you their Instagram, we'll link it down below. They're taking us on a 30 minute cruise around Ohrid Old Town. Um, we're really excited because we chose Sunset because the sunsets recently have been amazing and I'm sure it will look unreal from the lake. And this is our boat, wow. How exciting is this? Look and at it. And the sun is at perfect position right now. I can't even tell you. Wow, Look, it's, oh. it's not what I expected. How modern is this boat? It's so much, so this is an actual catamaran. There are some other ones that you can get which are sort of normal speed boats, but this, this is great. It is great. And that, whoa, is set in perfectly for us. Gosh. This sunset is incredible. I'm going to come round because you can't see me. Lighting. Honestly, this is unreal. The lake is so calm. You've got the sun reflecting on the old town coming down now, and the sun is in prime position. If you come to Orid, you can't not go out on the boat at exactly. least once. Exactly. And if you are looking for a boat, I would highly recommend this. This is so so smooth. This is incredible. Look at that sunset. Going past the old town now. Just went past the church of Saint Sophia and are heading further round. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All the birds are just running out of the way. This is incredible. We're like the only ones at the moment out on the lake. Incredible, seriously, I'm lost for words. One of the best sunsets I think I've ever seen. We're just passing the fisherman village there and it's so surreal when the sun starts to set. It's so beautiful. We're coming past the church that we were at, which I think was the St. John of Keen one. Was that right? Close enough. Close enough. I think my memory is not the best, but it's a different perspective from on the lake it's from when you're looking beautiful. at it. And we've got the it. best sunset I think we've seen so far. We have the best sunset. This is so nice. You can just see that sun set in behind the mountains behind me we've actually come past both churches now and away from the old town and we've actually came to this beach here called Labino Beach I didn't know this was here it's like a jungle look and apparently during the summer this is the most popular beach in all of Orid you know what we just needed Molly what? we needed a beer <laughs> why didn't we not bring a beer for this sunset schoolboy error So, so, so good. good. We actually came back and we parked up in the like parking unofficial area. marina. It's like the parking <laughs> area. But yeah, if you are ever in Lake Orid, look for Atanas and Azuro Catamaran Cruises for sunset. Absolutely the best. And hopefully next summer when this COVID rubbish is gone, go over Zuro and they will do tours and they will take you to all the spots around Lake oh, Orid yeah. for 20 euros per person and you'll see all the best spots. That boat is an absolute dream Yeah, it as is well. a dream. It doesn't move, does it? Like you just stay so nope. still. You're, you are, you're perfect. But <laughs> like I said, I didn't get a beer while we're on the boat. So we're gonna go and get some dinner now and definitely some beers. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Best burger in the Balkan, hands down. And they do draft pints, like the size of my head, Scots go. Oh dear, one too many 
Scops go in liquid. That is where we went for dinner and we didn't actually end the video because we had one too many, but liquid was really good, amazing burgers. And they were doing a contactless menu, which meant that you had to use your phone to scan the menu, uh, which I think is a really good idea because of coronavirus. It means you're not using the same menu as someone else. So we had such a good time there. And also, as Euro Catamaran cruises, I will link them below. It's such a tongue twister, but such a good day. The boat trip along the lake, watching the sun go down was so memorable and it was such a good day that whole day in general was really good from having the smoothie to try and feel a little bit healthier to sitting on the boat and having drinks like all these things make being away during a pandemic so much more fun um but yeah we've got a really busy day due tomorrow so we will see you then in the next one